Hi, I'm Howard from Crazy Tech. Got an idea on how to create an audiobook, and but this time I let ChatGPT help me. After publishing Casinos in Space, my second science fiction novel, inspired by my love of ocean cruises, I decided I'd like to make it into a free audiobook for a few reasons. I wanted to tell my story loosely based on my college friends centered on one friend who died of a brain tumor at the age of 47. I basically knew how to convert the book to audio, which would require maybe a hundred or more hours of reading, and that's when I came up with an idea on how to avoid hours of reading. The solution was to let my computer do the talking. Great idea, and it could be done, so I searched for an inexpensive text-to-audio software package, and it turns out Windows 10 had what I needed for free. One note for Windows would do it. All I needed was to drop each chapter into a note and run the immersive reader utility, and I had the solution. However, it wasn't as easy as I thought. The software had some bugs, and I had to listen to each read to catch the problems. While listening, I found errors in each chapter that needed to be corrected before recording the final audio chapter. That slowed my progress. In the end, it took about a year to convert the 31 chapters in casinos in space. Then in January, I discovered ChatGPT, and I had an idea. I would ask the AI for assistance in writing a report on how to create an audiobook. It would definitely be a time saver if I could get the AI guy to help me write. Then when done, I'd use my teleprompter to read for my YouTube video. So here's the ChatGPT's advice on how to create an audiobook. It's very cool that I had some help in writing this review, and if you have something to create for work or school, you can try it too. So my question at the prompt was, please write an outline on how to create an audiobook. Right to the point. Then I asked it to write a script around the outline, and it did, in about 10 seconds. Very impressive. So I am about to read what the chatty guy gave me. Now, the steps offered are very thorough and helpful and would work, but it wasn't exactly what I did. If you can wait a bit, I'll talk about the differences later. So I asked it to write me an outline, and here's what it said. But instead of my voice, I used the OneNote Immersive Reader to convert the text to audio. Let me know what you think in the comments. OneNote is limited to two voices, one male and one female. In creating my audiobook, I selected the female voice because it sounded a little more natural. However, you can tell it's not human. Please write an outline on how to create an audiobook. 1. Choose a book to narrate. Consider the length of the book and your own capabilities as a narrator. It's a good idea to choose a book that you are passionate about and that you believe will engage listeners. 2. Obtain the rights to narrate the book. If the book is still under copyright, you will need to obtain permission from the copyright holder or their agent before proceeding. 3. Prepare the text. Depending on the format of the book, you may need to convert it into a script or simply print it out. It's important to mark any special emphasis or inflections that you will use when narrating. 4. Set up your recording space. Find a quiet, acoustically neutral space to record. Set up your microphone and recording software according to the manufacturer's instructions. 5. Practice your narration. Before you start recording, it's a good idea to practice your narration to get a feel for the pacing and delivery. You may want to record a few practice runs to get comfortable with the material. 6. Record the book. Follow the script or printed text as you narrate the book. Take breaks as needed to rest your voice and maintain your energy. 7. Edit the recording. Once you have finished recording, you will need to edit the audio to remove any mistakes or pauses. This may involve cutting and splicing sections of the recording or using software to smooth out transitions. 8. Add any additional effects or music. Depending on the style of the book, 
you may want to add background music or sound effects to enhance the listening experience. 9. Publish the audiobook. Once you have completed the final edit, you will need to save the audio file in a format that can be distributed, such as MP3. There are several platforms that allow you to sell or distribute audiobooks, such as Audible or ACX. Okay, that was cool sounding for sure, but you can tell it's not human. Now those steps are very important, but I stopped at step four because I wasn't going to read it on my own. You can if you want, and if you do, you'll need to practice reading out loud and record a few paragraphs to see how you sound. It may help to get advice from a professional reader, like someone who works in broadcasting, preferably a radio news announcer. In fact, a childhood friend who started in broadcasting in Detroit was an on-air radio news director, and he shared some of his techniques so I could sound better recording my YouTube videos. Now here's the script that ChatGPT wrote for me. I asked, write a script on how to create an audiobook. And I've converted the script using the female voice from the OneNote Immersive Reader. Write a script for how to create an audiobook. Narrator, hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to create an audiobook. In this video, we'll be covering the steps you need to take to turn your favorite book into an audio experience that listeners can enjoy. Step 1. Choose a book to narrate. Narrator, the first step in creating an audiobook is to choose a book that you want to narrate. Consider the length of the book and your own capabilities as a narrator. It's a good idea to choose a book that you are passionate about and that you believe will engage listeners. Step 2. Obtain the rights to narrate the book. Narrator, if the book is still under copyright, you will need to obtain permission from the copyright holder or their agent before proceeding. This usually involves filling out a simple form and possibly paying a fee. Step 3. Prepare the text. Narrator, depending on the format of the book, you may need to convert it into a script or simply print it out. It's important to mark any special emphasis or inflections that you will use when narrating. This will help you stay on track as you record. Step 4. Set up your recording space. Narrator, find a quiet, acoustically neutral space to record. This could be a dedicated recording studio, or simply a quiet room in your home. Set up your microphone and recording software according to the manufacturer's instructions. Step 5. Practice your narration. Narrator, before you start recording, it's a good idea to practice your narration to get a feel for the pacing and delivery. You may want to record a few practice runs to get comfortable with the material. Step 6. Record the book. Narrator, follow the script or printed text as you narrate the book. Take breaks as needed to rest your voice and maintain your energy. It's important to maintain a consistent pace and volume as you record. Step 7. Edit the recording. Narrator, once you have finished recording, you will need to edit the audio to remove any mistakes or pauses. This may involve cutting and splicing sections of the recording or using software to smooth out transitions. Step 8. Add any additional effects or music. Narrator, depending on the style of the book, you may want to add background music or sound effects to enhance the listening experience. This can help set the mood and add depth to the audiobook. Step 9. Publish the audiobook. Narrator, once you have completed the final edit, you will need to save the audio file in a format that can be distributed, such as MP3. There are several platforms that allow you to sell or distribute audiobooks, such as Audible or ACX. Narrator, and that's it. With these simple steps, you can turn your favorite book into an audio experience that listeners can enjoy. Happy narrating! So if you want to create an audiobook from a novel, preferably one that you wrote, you can do it in a lot less time if you use a text-to-audio program. I chose OneNote because it was free, but it only offers two voices, and though it sounds okay, it's not perfect. 
There are at least a dozen programs that will convert text to voice, and a few probably sound better than OneNote, but you'll have to pay for a subscription. Now to the problems I had with OneNote. Glad I was listening to the text as it was converting, because I caught a few words that were spelled the same but pronounced differently. Also, another problem I found with OneNote is that some of the dialogue had timing problems, but the narration timing was okay. Now, I haven't checked the paid applications, so I'm not sure if they have similar problems. If you've tried any of these programs, I'd like to hear from your experiences in the comments below. How to save the audio from OneNote. OneNote doesn't have a save command for their immersive reader, but I figured out how to get around that. I use Open Broadcast Studio, OBS, the free streaming application to record the audio from OneNote. You have to set up OBS to record from OneNote as it's reading the text. You set up OBS by selecting the audio output source and the display capture source. In the display capture, you'll select OneNote for Windows 10. Then you click on Start Recording in OBS. Next, you'll click on Play in the OneNote Immersive Reader. OBS will then record the audio until you click Stop Recording. While it's recording, I listen to the audio for obvious errors. If I find any, I make a note of it to be corrected later. Now I had one more chat GPT request. I asked it to write a humor script, and here's what it said. Add some humor to the script of how to create and market an audiobook. Narrator, hey there. Are you tired of boring old books? Want to spice things up with some audio action? Then you're in luck. In this tutorial, we'll go over the steps you need to take to turn your favorite book into an audio masterpiece and get it out there for the world to hear. Let's get started. Step 1. Choose a book to narrate. Narrator, first things first, you need to choose a book to narrate. And let's be real, if you're going to spend hours upon hours talking to yourself, it better be a good book. So pick wisely, my friend. Step 2. Obtain the rights to narrate the book. Narrator, now, if you don't have the rights to narrate the book, this whole audiobook thing isn't going to work out. You don't want to end up on the wrong side of copyright law. Trust me, those guys are ruthless. Step 3. Prepare the text. Narrator, okay, now it's time to get the text ready for recording. If the book is in a funky format, you may have to convert it into a script. And if it's a really old book, you may have to decipher ancient hieroglyphics. Just kidding, it's probably just in PDF form. Step 4. Set up your recording space. Narrator, now it's time to set up your recording space. Find a quiet, acoustically neutral space to record. And no, the bathroom is not an acceptable option. I know it's tempting, but your neighbors will thank you. Step 5. Practice your narration. Narrator, before you start recording, it's a good idea to practice your narration to get a feel for the pacing and delivery. And if you're feeling extra daring, try narrating in a different accent. Just don't do a terrible British accent, please. Step 6. Record the book. Narrator, all right, it's go time. Follow the script or printed text as you narrate the book. And try not to mess up too much, unless you're into that kind of thing. Then by all means, mess up to your heart's desire. Step 7. Edit the recording. Narrator, now it's time to clean up all those mistakes you made during the recording process. Don't worry, we all make mistakes. Even professional narrators. Just ask James Earl Jones. He's messed up a time or two. Step 8. Add any additional effects or music. Narrator, if you want to add some pizzazz to your audiobook, try adding some music or sound effects. Just be careful not to get too carried away. You don't want your audiobook to sound like a 90s techno album. Step 9. Publish the audiobook. Narrator, all right, the final step. Save the audio file in a format that can be distributed, such as MP3. And then it's time to get the word out about your awesome new audiobook. 
start spreading the good word on social media and anywhere else you can think of. And if all else fails, just bribe people to listen. It's not the most ethical method, but it gets the job done. Narrator, and that's it. You're now the proud creator of a shiny new audiobook. Now go out there and share it with the world. Happy narrating. It was okay, but it could have been funnier. I also generated a Chad GPT slide presentation and a presentation on how to market your book, but I don't need to show that. You get the idea. If you like this video, please subscribe. The subscribe button is on the right side of the screen, and I will leave links to OBS Studio and to the science fiction book, Casinos in Space, which is free 